What's up, buddy? Welcome to the channel. Appreciate you stopping by. First of all, let's talk about the channel brand change. We changed from Hartley's Gaming to Hartley's Tech Circle. Why? Because I felt the direction the channel was going to go in is not just about gaming anymore. It's about tech, it's about the industry, about the DIYs that I've been doing my tech. If any of you buddy have seen my recent video about me painting my PC, then you'll understand. So I appreciate you being here. If you don't like the rebranding, I'm sorry, but I thought that was the right direction to go. So in. let's recap. What did we do in the first episode of Paint My PC? Well, we tore the PC down, we primed the side panels, the front panel, and then we coated with the two colors that I chose, which was the high gloss white and the safety blue. Once we let that dry for a couple of days, I had the chance to tear down the actual, the actual PC. We took the motherboard out, the GPU, we took the wires out and took it down to its bare bones. Once we took it down to these bare bones, we were able to sand and prime the case. One thing I did change from what I did with the side panels and the front panel is I changed the primer. I used a white primer at first and thinking using a white primer and a white high gloss paint, you won't be able to see the difference between the layers. I chose to use white. the gray primer and then a high gloss white paint just so I could see the differences between the layers because that was the one thing I thought I could have done better when I did the side panels. So since now I had the case painted, which looks really nice in the high gloss white and the safety blue, I really wanted to add little accents to the case to make it pop. I've seen many people paint their motherboards with plasti dip, but I haven't got the balls to do that. So what I wanted to do was remove the black and red heat sinks from the MSI Gaming 5 motherboard and actually paint them in the safety blue and the white. Once I'd covered the two top heat sinks on the motherboard, I went ahead and covered the bottom heat sink with the high gloss white. However, I wanted two light blue lines down either side of the so once I had the heat sinks ready after a couple of days, because I really didn't want to ruin the small fine detail. What up, doggy? The small fine detail that I, that I want to make the motherboard pop. I reapplied them to motherboard to make sure they were looking good. Seriously, go. Okay, sit there. Sorry about the dog boys. So once they were applied to the motherboard, I then left them to either even more solidify and really gel to that metallic surface of the heat sink. When I saw that, I was like, I need a little bit more. So I went that step further and decided to color my GPU. So once I applied the primer and the high gloss paint, it was ready to be assembled. However, as you can see, the new thermal paste that I put on the GPU is already on there. The reason is because I assembled it in the wrong order. I put the backplate on first and wasn't able to get the fans on. However, this video shows me doing it the right way. So guys who see this video, don't go mad at me. Appreciate it. So now everything that we want to have done is done. All the paints have set, they're nice and hard now. The motherboard is put back together. The GPU is painted and put back together and working because if it wasn't working, this video would not be going live. So the last thing we need to do is put everything back together and see how it goes. Fingers crossed, it all works.
So now everything is in. Everything's set, everything looks good, and I couldn't be happier. The little accents on the motherboard really bring out and help the GPU. And the GPU just looks stunning. I'm actually looking at it right now while I'm videoing it because it does look very, very nice. And it's been up and running for the past couple of days now. However, I did come into one small problem. Um, when applying the thermal paste, I didn't I didn't think I applied enough, so I had to take off the, the CPU block, wipe it clean, and put, add some more um, CPU thermal paste. But now it's running pretty cool. Um, I applied new thermal paste to the GPU as well, and it's running a couple of degrees cooler. Um, so I actually recommend people who have a little bit of knowledge in taking GPUs apart and putting thermal paste on new G on the GPUs and onto CPUs, uh, redo your thermal paste because I feel like you get a better and a, a slight improvement in your degrees Celsius. And there we have it. Paint my PC volume one or two are done. It was a great journey. It only lasted about two or three weeks, but my point of view, it was great. Being able to customize something that I love, being able to learn about new things, be it painting, be it how to dismantle GPUs, dismantle motherboards. I learned a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanna see the first part of this video, make sure you click it on here. If you wanna check out the benchmarks test that I do for the new releases on my system, make sure you check out here. But guys, once again, I really appreciate it. If you want me to do more things like this, let me know in the comment section. And till next time, peace.